All right, guys. Today we're going to talk about December baits, and these are going to be pretty heavy to the area that I'm living in because typically we have stained water about the second week of November. It gets relatively stained, and it's typically pretty stained with some streaks of it clearing up, but until like March, it stays pretty stained. But where I'm at, it's actually clearer than it normally is. So I've actually had to kind of change the way that I normally fish around here this time of year. So we're gonna go through my top three December baits for clear water, and it's kind of changed a lot. Like in previous years, it would be vibrating jigs, chatter baits, spinner baits, you know, square bills, stuff like that, that a swim jig, apex swim jig, I catch them on that a ton same the ace jig is still in the mix but i've had to change two major things and the first one being these fish are around bait and there's not very many on the bank you know there's some on the bank the bigger fish are still on the bank but for the most part i've been having to throw a this is a crush city freeloader throw it out to fish that are suspended throw it around the tips of dock stuff like that and just kind of i put it on a jig head or i put it on a hover rig and i actually just fish it out a lot deeper than you know, I would normally be fishing this time of year. The bait doesn't actually go that deep. Sometimes I'll fish it down to 15, 16, but for the most part, it's a six to eight foot deep kind of a deal for suspended fish and fish that are hanging out on the tops of brush piles or, or the tips of docks and stuff like that, or deeper rocks, all that type of stuff. But you put this bait right here and as much as that tail moves and it's very streamlined, it's a very, very good shad imitating bait because the profile and then because of how tight the action is, but how consistent the, action, the tail actually moves. So for December, this is a very, very, very very good bait one of my favorite ones that i've been throwing this fall like i said in years past i've never had to fish like that and as soon as we get a lot of rain maybe we won't have to fish like that anymore but it's been a really really fun way to catch them and i've caught a lot of actually really really nice fish on that bait you know for the, over the past couple of weeks but put that on a 3 16 or heavier jig head is typically what I do a three sixteenths or a quarter something like that or an eighth ounce hover rig or take an eighth ounce hover rig and actually put a nail weight in the head of it kind of get that bait down a little bit further so that's one that's been a sleeper in years past and kind of now I'm on that bike kind of the same time everybody's on that bike so not really unique or new but it's something that's unique for me this time of year and that's what I've been doing I've been throwing it on 10 pound sunline shooter leader tied to actually 10 pound sunline overwatch braids been the braid that i've been using seven foot three medium fast uh envy from 13 fishing and then the new axum comp spinning reel from 13 fishing been a really really good player this fall that has another one this is the og tiny seven and you can see i actually got this one hung and actually i was throwing on 12 pound sunline shooter and i've kind of bent the split ring a little bit trying to get it out and just kind of took the split ring off and haven't replaced it yet but this is one that i've been throwing the water being clear those fish that are normally up there super sh super shallow like i've said in that in that previous one a lot of times when that water stained up it's like the first foot or two off the bank is where i get a lot of the bites this year with it being clearer i've been having to throw this seven foot dive in tiny and I'm not getting the bites until that bait gets down there in five, six, seven foot and actually starts banging on the bottom and deflecting out there in that clear water. Those fish are just off the drop just a little bit and that five to seven foot range is where I've really been catching them. So I've been throwing this around, you know, deep, deep sea walls, shallow points off the tip of them. You know, I, I set my boat in 10, throw up to four or five and then, you know, bring the bait back or I get really, really close to those steeper banks and, while I, and, and actually parallel it with this bait and get it down there in that strike zone. But the reason for this is our water is clearer and those fish have backed off quite a bit. And that's why I'm throwing this bait over a square bill like the Rocco or the OG Tiny 4. That's, the seven has seemed to play a little bit better for me this, this fall. And then going into December, I'm really expecting that to be a player also. The Ace Jig, this is the one that gets the big bites this time of year for me. Has been for the past three or four years, and I really like that dirty crawl in that clear water, all the way to up to a moderate stain. You know, whenever they start eating crawfish and stuff this time of year, that dirty crawl Ace Jig just looks phenomenal in the water. I start to transition from the cleanup crawl style trailer. I throw it through October, November, all that type of stuff, even early December, but I start to make that transition to a chunk style trailer 
This is a smaller, this is a junior size chunk, a little bit smaller. You can see that that skirt color on this has actually got some dark green pumpkin, some black, and then some muted down orange in it. Just a great, great crawfish imitator. This thing, I mean, it's exactly what you would think a crawfish looks like. You know, like that's, if you think of a crawfish, that's what you, th a crawfish looking jig, that's what you think about. And this is my favorite color jig to throw whenever it starts to get cold, even if the water's clear, because those crawfish are a certain color and those fish just get kind of keyed in on the actual color of those crawfish. So I throw this a, between a three eighths and a half. Usually if I'm fishing a tournament, I'll have both rigged up. I'll have a three eighths and a half rigged up. And I'm gonna throw three eighths anytime I'm fishing four feet deep or shallower because that three eighths really lingers in their face a little bit longer, especially around cold fronts, stuff like that. And it's got that really good gliding action whenever you have that chunk style trailer on there. It kind of makes a little bit of a spiral going through the water. It doesn't fall straight down super fast. It skips super nice, but it also wants to glide down through the water column. It looks super, super natural like a fish that's just kind of meandering around under there or a bluegill. And then when you get it on the bottom, obviously I hop it a little bit, drag it a little bit, and that's when it really starts to look like a crawfish when it's down there on the bottom. So four feet deep or shallower, it's gonna be a three eighths ounce. And then from, you know, sometimes I'll throw the half in three or four. If I'm fishing down a row of docks where the average dock is six to eight, but there's a couple three and four feet deep docks, I'm gonna use the half for all of them. Even though it's up there in that shallower range, I'm just gonna keep the half in my hand so I don't have to change rods. But if I go to a line of docks or shallow wood or, or shallow rock that's four feet, I'm gonna use the three eighths all the way down that stretch. And if I go to a little bit deeper stretch, I'm gonna to go to the half and I'm gonna fish, you know, from, from the three, four foot range out to eight, nine, 10. And then obviously throw it around any kind of wood you see, any kind of brush, the deep rock bluffs, all that type of stuff. Throw that on 20 pound Sunline Shooter, a seven foot three, medium heavy, extra fast, 13 fishing. And that, I usually throw that on the Envy. I've been recently transitioned over more to the Muse side of rods. They're a little bit more powerful and I really, really like those rods. But been using those two uh, 13 fishing concept C real 8.3 to 1 gear ratio that's for both that setup is the exact same where I'm throwing 3 8 or a half I didn't say the setup I throw the OG tiny 7 on I throw it on 10 pound Sunline FC crank and FC sniper those are the two lines that I've been throwing on this fall I could just cast a little bit further I like the Sunline shooter a ton if I'm going to be just banging on the rocks and beating that thing on the rocks because that Sunline shooter is a little bit more abrasion resistant but for casting in cold weather, that Sunline Shooter doesn't cast as well in super cold weather as the Sunline Sniper or the FC Crank. So I want to go down to the 10 pound FC Crank or the Sniper, a seven foot medium cranking fate black rod. Super inexpensive rod, but to me it's one of the best small treble hook, small crankbait rods I've ever used. Now I throw it on a 6.8 to 1, I think it's 6.8 to 1 Concept C is what I'm throwing it on. So that's my setup. And that's my three December baits that will be laying on the front deck all through December. So we're actually about to go tie this bad boy on right here. Probably go catch a couple on it today. That'd be pretty fun.